We are going to download and install Android Studio, which includes all the tools you need to develop Android apps. Let's go to Google and search for Android Studio. And here we click on the android.com slash develop. It includes a set of code editors, UI tools, and templates, which are all designed to make your coding easier. So I click on download Android Android Studio, waiting for the download. And here are the license agreement. We scroll down. I click on I have read and agree and click download. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn. You came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. And you can see these are the previous uh, and uh, for other platform, if you, if you want to download for Windows, Mac, Mac 64, ARM, Linux, Chrome OS. So you can click on these to download it in, uh, on other platforms. On my, in my case, this is uh, the Windows uh, in downloading and installation. And I, uh, I used this which is used and recommended by Android developer site. And this is the download. I will start download and I will wait for it. After the download uh, finished, we click on it. The setup will load. And here is the setup process. Click on next. We click on Android virtual device. We will see later. Click on next, next, and click on install, waiting for installation process to finish. After that, we click on next and start Android Studio. And here we go. This is the Shipmunk. This is the latest version of Android Studio uh, till the time of recording this video. This is the Android Studio setup wizard. I click on don't send. I will click on next. No Android SDK found. Before continuing, you must download the necessary components or select an existing SDK. Click on Next. We need to download uh, these uh, SDKs platform and these, uh, the API and the SDK. So SDK, the collection of Android platform APIs, tools, and utilities that enables you to debug, profile, and compile your apps. The setup wizard will update your current Android SDK installation if necessary or install a new version. And this is the API, the Android platform libraries for targeting API 33 platform. Later on in this video, we'll see what are the components of the SDK and why we use that, this SDK. Click on next. These are the components that should be downloaded. Click on next. We click on accept. These are the most important things that should be uh, installed before uh, running the Android Studio. Click on finish and you can see, uh, we can uh, see the, the, the details. Okay. So what is Android SDK? Android Software Development Kit contains four main components. The SDK tools, the SDK build tools, the SDK platform, the SDK platform tools. SDK tools. This includes the complete set of tools used to develop and debug Android apps. SDK build tools. This contains the tools that are required for, for building Android apps. SDK platform. Each version of Android has its own SDK platform package. It lets you compile your app for that version of Android and includes the source files for that version. SDK platform tools. This includes tools that interface with Android platform. The tools are backward compatible.
but new features may only be available for new versions of Android. I hope you understand these four main components of the Android SDK. And now we are waiting for the setup and the download of the SDK to be finished after finishing the downloading process and Android SDK is up to date message appears, then we click on finish. And here we go. This is our Android Studio welcoming screen. We have on the left, we have the tab for projects, we have the customize, plugins, and learn under Studio. We are concerned about the projects. We can create a new project to start from scratch, or opening by, by, this, by this button, when you click on this button, later on we'll see it in the next video. Open, you can open uh, an existing project or get from VCS, Virgin Control Services, okay? And also we have the more actions, the virtual device manager, the profile or debug APK, SDK manager and import an Android code sample. I will keep this, skip this uh, later on in this video. I'll talk about them. I will talk about the customize tab so you can check for uh, the themes. You can change the, th the themes, track high contrast or others. You can uh, set the font for IDE, I can make it uh, 14, Windows, Eclipse, and you see these are some, um, some uh, appearances of uh, for options for Android Studio. The plugins, later we are going to see what are plugins and how to install uh, and how to use them inside Android Studio. Learn Android Studio, these are for uh, links for the Android developer sites. So till now we are concerned about projects. We go, uh, are going back to more options tab. And here I'm going to click on SDK manager. Okay, so this is the SDK manager. We have lectured before about it and we have learned what are the components of the SDK. Here we have the Android platform installed 33. I don't prefer to, uh, to uh, download the latest unstable versions. I always download the latest stable versions of the SDK. So these are by, uh, by default. We have installed it uh, in this video. The SDK tools, these are the build tools. I prefer using the latest versions in this case, the SDK build tools, it's installed. And if we scroll down, you can choose uh, other uh, options. And here we have the Android emulator installed and Android SDK platform tools are installed. So. These are the main components of the SDK and the more, most important things that should be installed in order to run our uh, codes, our Android Studio uh, projects in a flow. So I click OK. So any other updates, any updates in the SDK, anything you can add, Later on, any tools, you can go to more options or more actions and SDK manager. So this is the SDK manager in Android Studio. Later on, we will see the Android, the SDK manager uh, inside the interface of Android Studio. Till now, we have finished configuring uh, Android SDK and installing the Android Studio.